Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Ninjago video here on the channel. My name is Tanner Fishies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing a reveal that happened during San Diego Comic-Con that I've kind of been thinking about for a while here, ever since it was announced at the panel. Now, during the panel that occurred at Comic-Con, according to the Brick fan who was in attendance during that event, it was mentioned on the panel that during Ninjago Dragons Rising Season 1 Part 2, the Ninja Team will be divided into three distinct teams. For what reason, we are not so sure, but either way, in Dragons Rising part two, the ninja team will be divided and split into three distinct teams. In terms of what the three teams will be doing, like I said, we don't know for sure, but it might have something to do with the three dragon energy cores, which we know exist thanks to Lego Brawls. We have yet to see these dragon energy cores in the Ninjago Dragons Rising series, so I feel like that's what Dragons Rising part two is going to be all about. The ninja and Imperium both racing to obtain these three distinct dragon cores. And that's probably why the ninja will split up into three distinct teams. Now in terms of who's going to be on each each team. I think we can pretty much determine that as well. The first team is obvious. It's probably going to be Lloyd, Aaron, and Sora, along with Baby Dragon Ryu. These are the core cast members of Ninjago Dragons Rising, so it would make sense for them to be on the exact same team like they were in Dragons Rising Part 1. The second team might consist of Kai, Nia, and Wildfire. I say that because these are also some characters that were left over from Part 1, with Kai and Nia also being part of the primary cast for this season, and also with Wildfire being Kai's student, more or less, it seems like that would make a lot of sense. And that would leave the third team to be Zane, Jay, and Cole, once everything with Jay and Cole gets resolved in Dragons Rising Part 2. You know, in the sense that once they come back to the team and everything is all settled, maybe Zane, Jay, and Cole could be a team again, like they were during the earlier days. I think that could be a nice parallel, but also if they decide to not introduce Jay and Cole, like say if they make up three teams using the cast members that we had at the end of Part 1, I'm not so sure what the teams would be at that point. I think it would make more sense for them to collect themselves first, reunite as a full team, before splitting up into three smaller teams. And I do hope the team does spend some time together as a unit during part two. It would be so nice to see everyone under one roof once again, until we inevitably get split up once again for Dragons Rising Season 2, which will feature probably a new roster of Dragons Rising characters. But of course, with that being said, guys, that'll pretty much wrap it up for my thoughts here. Just wanted to give my thoughts on the Ninjago Dragons Rising news that the team will be split up once again into three smaller teams. Leave all your thoughts and theories down below. What are these three teams trying to collect and who will be on each of the three teams? Leave all your thoughts down below and hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you guys enjoyed this one, feel free to like and subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I will talk to you guys again very, very soon. Peace.